What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back out again with another video. So I wanted to do something different for my preview and prediction video for Money in the Bank this year. Instead of me talking about each and every match and who I think is going to win or lose, why or why not, I'm really going to talk about the important matches or the matches that I'm really interested in seeing on this pay-per-view. And for me, the only matches, uh, matches, the only matches that really have my attention, the only matches I really am interested in seeing how it plays out as of now is the women's money in the bank ladder match and the men's money in the bank ladder match. I kind of want to just get to those points right there because to be honest with you, I'm just more so focused on what's going to happen there, especially on the men's side of things because... Roman Reigns being the universal WWE undisputed champion has really taken a turn and not for the better, in my opinion. I think his reign has gotten very stagnant to the point where Monday Night Raw doesn't even have a champion, realistically. That's what it seems like. They don't even have a top champion. So this year's Money in the Bank is going to be very important because it could have some serious implications on what's going to be happening for the rest of this year when it comes to the main event scene. So, I'm going to talk about these two particular ladder matches. If you guys want to, you know, discuss about the other matches and who you think will win and who you think will lose, definitely discuss it in the comment section. But I want to really focus in on this video, particularly on the Money in the Bank men and women matches. So, let's start with the women's. You got Lacey Evans, Alexa Bliss. Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, Oscar, Shotzi, and Becky Lynch. I'm I'm really thinking. I know they they WWE management they're kind of high on Raquel, but I don't think it's her time yet. Unless you really just want to put a rocket ship to her, I don't think it's her time. Um, Lacey Evans. I know they're trying to really push her as something big. I still don't. I don't think she will possibly win it. Um, Oscar is a good pick. It is a very good pick. And the only reason, even though Oscar's won it before, I think it would be a nice little, nice little, I guess, potential setup if they did maybe Oscar versus, like, if Oscar wanted to go against, um, uh, Ronda Rousey, because Ronda's not losing to Natalia. I know she has a match. She's not losing. You can hang that up. But I think that would be something good if, Oscar was maybe to probably cash in on Ronda or something like that. Maybe that could possibly happen, but I don't I don't see her winning it. Really to tell you the truth, Liv Morgan will probably be a fan favorite, but I don't see them giving it to Liv. Even though it would be cool, I just I don't see Liv realistically like going well, I don't know. Let me rephrase that. It's like they know the fans like her. And I, they know the fans want to see her as champion, but I don't know if WWE management is going to be willing to, like, I don't know, give a loss to Bianca or Ronda. Granted, she could just do a regular cash in, capitalize while one of the opponents or like when it, we either Ronda or, or um, Bianca is injured or after a, a grueling match, they could do something like that. But I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't see them pulling the trigger on that. The only person that I really feel like it would make sense because it's part of her character. It kind of aligns herself with her character is, is Becky Lynch. I can honestly see Becky Lynch cashing in. And the question is, who would you have a cash in on? Would you have a cash in on Bianca to get her title back? And we have this feud again. Or would you have a cash in on Ronda? And me personally, even though I don't, I really wouldn't want to see Becky in the main event scene so soon. With the list we have here, I can see Becky Lynch winning. And I can see... Her cashing in on Ronda. I can see her cashing in on Ronda. And I can see them having a feud. I know that's something maybe they would want to wait till WrestleMania. But to be honest with you, Ronda hasn't really been her as champion. Like, it, it, it's, it's been kind of stale. Like, 
just like the promos she's been delivering. I, I've seen clips and stuff. It's kind of cringe or whatnot. Like, it, it's not really going nowhere. She needs uh, some life right now. Like, and the only way she can get some type of life in her character is if she's going against someone that is very eccentric and has no qualms about saying whatever the hell she wants to say. They could go back and forth on Twitter. They've gone back and forth before in the past. And I think the fans will really get into Say Ronda has, uh, has a grueling match. You hear Becky Lynch music and she cashes in on her. Crazy thing is, people will pop for that. I'm being honest. So, I don't know. I, I think that when I look at this list, I know people want Liv to win, but I think Becky will probably be the odds on favorite. And I can see Becky Lynch cashing in on Ronda Rousey. Because we I don't think we want to see Bianca Belair and Becky no more. I think the story to go with is probably Ronda Rousey. So that's my pick. Becky will probably win. And and it, it will it'll be that kind of situation. And she'll probably cash in at some point on Ronda. So that's my pick on there. Now let's get to the men's. Now, they finally added the last person to the match. We're going to go in, go down the list. We got Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Omos, Sami Zayn, Matt Riddle. And the last person they, uh, they added on Friday Night SmackDown was um, uh, Matt Cat Moss. They added Matt Cat Moss to the match. So I don't see Matt Cat Moss winning it. I don't see Sami Zayn uh winning it even though that would be uh a nice pick it would be a, a surprise if he was but i just don't see Sami Zayn winning it i don't see omas winning it nor sheamus not even drew and the situation with drew is drew challenged roman at the clash at the castle event that's happening later on this year so i, I doubt that's happening the only two people i can see actually potentially doing something here is Seth Rollins and Matt Riddle. Now, we've had the conversation with Seth Rollins being the one to win money in the bank, and then when Brock and Roman have their match, he try to recreate the heist of the century again at SummerSlam. I think that's kind of self-explanatory. That could possibly happen. But who I would want to win, I would love for them to pull the trigger on Matt Riddle. Here's why. They pull the trigger on Matt Riddle. They surprise everybody. Because a lot of people are thinking most likely WWE is going to do Seth Rollins. But I don't think anyone would trip if Matt Riddle won this. Matt Riddle wins. And you know what? I, I really hope they don't do the classic babyface going to announce when he's going to cash in. I think it's much better when it's a surprise. It doesn't make you more of a heel or a face, in my opinion, if you cash in. It's the stipulation of the briefcase. It gives you that advantage. I know more heels like to take that approach, but faces can pull it off too. What I think should happen is Brock and Roman destroy them. They destroy each other. They beat the living crap out of each other at SummerSlam, as they should. Last man standing match. Matt Riddle is the money in the bank winner. When it's all said and done, Roman wins. He wins by some nefarious ways, but he wins. But he's tired. The Usos, they're out. They got destroyed by Brock. Brock sent them to the gulags very quickly. Usos, are they're pretty much out of it. Roman's tired, but he got the win. Barely. Exhausted. All of a sudden, you hear the music. You hear the music. The crowd's popping. They're chanting, bro. He runs down there. He cashes in his money in the bank. Granted, I don't know how they're going to do the stipulation with the title. Is he cashing it in for one title? I think they should just probably do, he, you know, he's cashing in for the WWE Championship. Just say, I want I want the WWE Championship. That's what I want right there. Not the Universal Championship. It, 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 we'll see how they play that out. But, hey, I'm challenging for the WWE Championship. You sure? The ref say you sure? He says you sure? Boom. The match is official, and Matt Riddle gives him the beats. Now, it looks like Roman's about to, you know, maybe potentially get the upset here, but he's too tired. He's too drained, and guess what? Guess what? Matt Riddle hits him with the RKO. Hits him with a nice RKO tribute to Randy, obviously, for the one, 
the two, the three. And Matt Riddle is the guy, the first guy in almost damn near three years to pin Roman Reigns one, two, three in the ring for the WWE Championship. And the crowd will go crazy. You can't tell me that crowd won't pop. That would be incredible. Matt Riddle would be on top of the world. He can bring the championship back to Monday Night Raw. Where it needs to be. The WWE Championship. You can still have Roman be the Universal Champion. And you go, you go that way. That's how you do it. In my opinion, and I, I think that's the, probably the most logical and surprising way. I've been saying, if Roman loses, it got to be to an up-and-coming guy. Matt Riddle is an up-and-coming guy. Now, I know originally probably they were going to have him lose to Roman, which makes sense. He's not up, you know, uh, not Roman, uh, uh, Cody. That was probably the original plan. He's probably going to lose to Cody at some point. Some could say he's not an up-and-coming star, but... Cody is a different Cody from when he was in WWE originally. But this is a different situation. Riddle can really get over. He's gotten over with the Randy, teaming up with Randy. This would be perfect. This would be so perfect. And then when Randy Orton finally comes back, we can finally get the heel turn from Randy. We've all been anticipating. And now it makes sense. Randy comes back, he congratulates him. Oh man, I'm so happy for you. You tease it, you just tease it. You're waiting for him to strike because you know he's gonna strike. And then Randy turns on Matt Riddle and they have a few for the WWE Championship. It writes itself. It writes itself because now Randy Orton be like, damn, bro, I was out while you was over here winning championship. You won the move. You won the championship with my move. It writes itself. That is the outcome I would hope happen at this year's Money in the Bank. I like the Seth Rollins idea. I really, really do. If they're gonna, if they're gonna go with that route, that's fine. Whatever. Any means to get the WWE Championship off of Roman. But Matt Riddle probably makes the most sense because the history they got. He can say I'm doing this for Randy, and I'm gonna, I'm going to get the title off of Roman Reigns, and he finally does. Of course, after Roman has had a match, it still makes Roman look strong because Roman can say, bro, he beat me when I've already fought Brock Lesnar in a last man standing match. It's the only reason why he beat me. No one is taking this universal championship from me. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. You can still have Roman be strong. And now you're putting over a fresh, younger talent, fresh new talent that's already over. Now he's skyrocketed. Because he beat Roman Reigns. Yes, he cashed in, but he beat Roman Reigns. And I think a lot of people will be happy. And then hopefully Randy come back soon. They have an epic feud. And then at that point, you can find a way to get the belt off of, off of Matt Riddle. You can find a way to get it off of him. So, I don't know. But that's just my thoughts and opinions on just the two Money in the Bank ladder matches. And how I feel like they will play out. And hopefully they do play out. So, my question to you guys is... Comment down below. Let me know your preview and predictions on the other matches if you want to. But mainly the women and men's match. Who do y'all want to win? Why? And, you know, if you guys agree with my picks. You know, I'm going to have that discussion with you guys before we get into Money in the Bank. Also, we will be live streaming it on the main page, on the In the Clutch page. So be on the lookout for that. It's going to be a fun time like we always do. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing if my predictions are right. So my predictions for the women, I think Becky Lynch is going to be the one to win it. And my predictions for the men, I'm, uh, I think who I want to win, Matt Riddle. Who I think is going to win, probably Seth Rollins. And I can see them doing Becky is the Money in the Bank winner. Seth is the Money in the Bank winner. I can see them hamming that up. That's who I think. I think WWE is going to play it safe with Seth. And I think they're going to probably play it safe with Becky Lynch. But who I want to win, Matt Riddle for the men's side of things. So, but I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.